before this video starts, I want to give a massive apology for this terrible quality. I was trying to stream, it wouldn't work. I was pissed off because of that, and this is the garbage we ended up with. So, enjoy whatever the hell this is. Hello, everyone here, it's Monkey 5 Welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing the game Cities War, which is a game I've been playing for quite a while, actually. Uh, and recently, there has been some stuff going on with the game. So I thought, why not? Now seems to be the time to make a video because it's had a massive surge in players. Okay, so Cities War is a multiplayer game that takes place on Google Maps. Basically, you grow an army, take cities, uh, build countries, try to get more money to continue the same, uh, <laughs> and you join an alliance. Uh, as you can see, alliances have territories. So I'm in the NSTC alliance. Great alliance. Great people. Um, <laughs> and basically... The game has changed a bit recently, because I'm not going to go into it, because it's more important what the game is like now. Basically, a big YouTuber, Drew Derno, came in and made a video. And this game literally got raided. Um, Google threw an intellectual property fit, which is why, for development purposes only, is written all over the game. Uh, <laughs> I have, um, I lost a lot of my good cities, because you get spam attacked by a bunch of alts, which was fun. And basically the same happened to everyone else, but I think they've calmed down. And so, f f I'm doing a video on this now because there's a lot more players in the game because of the video. And I just want to give my uh, my tips and tricks for uh, Cities War. Which I, I need to say now and put a disclaimer in, I am not qualified to give any of this advice. I have no clue what I'm talking about, I've only been playing this game for like two months, two, three months, something like that. Okay, let's get into it. Also, the reason the game looks like this, which is different to other people, is I have it on... Uh, have it on uh, country be instead of cities because uh, if I went down to cities, you would see my alliance capital. And I don't know if, if my alliance's capital is public knowledge yet, so I'm gonna keep it here. Uh, all right, let's just get into a really quick tutorial on what you do in this game. I don't know if you guys just got that, but what, while I was speaking, just the second I pressed the pause button. These lads literally just made alliance territory, like on the second. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's this is happening really fast. You still probably no clue what I'm talking about, but look, yeah, great. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So basically, you start off with this thing called your camp. I have this camp here with a bunch of armies for completely no conspicuous reasons. No, they just all got killed by spammers. Woohoo! Uh, basically, then you. Use those people to make a build your army, and then you use that army to attack said cities and defend said cities. So let's just take a quick look at one of the. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, what am I trying to say? Let's just take a quick look at, look at one of the armies I have, which is a completely useless tiny army. Uh. Okay, so for example, I have this army here, which is five. I literally just all died. And you basically can give them a bunch of weapons, all that stuff, and you build up the armies. I have like no gold, I just spent it all. Uh, <laughs> and then, so you build that up, and that changes the attack and defense scores. And then you've got these yokes, which you buy up. I just want to say straight here, for defense, use these M109s. They're really helpful. I'll go into long detail about why these are the best and um, most value. The best for the most value you could get. And for defense, sorry, that's for offense. That's for defense. M19s are for defense and use BM21s or T90s for offense. Please follow my advice here. I'm definitely not trying to make you lose, I swear. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Let's show... Okay, so this is the world map and as you can already see these odds territory has already changed colour and it's nicely changing. Lovely for them. You basically have the best alliance which is NSTC. We are clearly superior to all the other alliances. Uh, we will show we technically at the moment due so to some minor difficulties we are not at the top of this leaderboard but we will be there 
here we are showing the map again. You can also look at it from satellite. But due to all this development thing, it just looks pretty bad, so I'm just going to stick it on map for a moment. Uh, and as you can see, there's the we have a couple of big alliances. It's really acts generally okay. It's really sad because the bleepers they they set up their territory and it was over here. And as annoying as they are, they're the fun annoying. They're the people that keep ch world chat humorous. So it's really sad to see them doing so badly, even though you know I'd still try to beat them. Uh, and the big alliances are of course us, the resistance, the UN, and. The Black Sun, who used to be called V, but now changed the name because they felt like it, apparently. Why not? And just to show what I mean by the Drew, but there was literally the Drusade. Because there was like four... Where are they all gone? The right... Okay, you've... Drusaders four, Drusaders five, Drusaders three, Drusaders. And I'm sure there's Drusaders two somewhere as well. To know where they've gone. I think we're recovering. I think. Anyway. Uh, your resources. I have like none here. <laughs> because <laughs> I literally just have none at the moment. Okay. Um. So you have. Okay, I actually need to grab another uranium mine. So this is great. You want to discover. And you're going to go find a mine which is basically set up in a city. Of another player. I always set them up in my own. For what I would feel is quite obvious reasons. Although do I even own this anymore? Yeah I do don't I? To, yeah yeah. Yeah I do. Okay. Um, and it's kind of sad. Because I'm literally the only person. That has mines in my own city. It's great. Um, higher the colour is. The higher the number. The higher the tax is. Pretty straightforward. So black is 100 so I am not setting up in Adelaide anymore because Adelaide was sad, very sadly taken away from me. Rest in peace. Uh, I'm doing such stupid things here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, and then you can sell this on the market for a higher than standard price. Or just sell it straight out here for... Uh, the normal price but if you go into market it's not really worth selling anymore well it is but usually you're not going to get a sale on it and after 12 hours it'll be sold at the regular price i don't even have enough to sell okay i don't anyway let's move on to more normal things gems there is a lottery which at the moment i'm not entering if you're going to want to enter this you're going to make sure you have the most cities as possible because it's a draw from new age cities so that's like your most increased chance and the chances of winning this are really really low but if i go into hunt we can actually hunt down gems gems are really handy for a whole bunch of reasons so we need to find the leaning tower of pisa right this is going to take me way too long uh so that's in pisa yeah <laughs> right okay um let's just go here for our ages and wait this out okay where the hell is this so basically, we, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the centre, right? Basically, you have to find... Where? Hang on, what world is that? That's probably how we can find this. SS12, right? Oh, that's here, that's here, so... Right, but that could be... <laughs> this is just very difficult for me here. Because, you know, you might actually need to be tour to Pisa. That, does that mean tower? Please tell me that means tower. Yes, gems. Collect. Collect. Just get any you can see. I think that's all I'm going to get. Be honest, five altogether. Slightly sad. Yeah, okay, well, I got five, and I can come back in eight hours for more. So that's how you hunt gems in Cities War. And I asked a serious question like, what is up with some people's countries? Like, they're massive. Like, are you joking? Like, I can't tell. Why? 
Would you want a country this big? The aim of having a country is to have it as small as possible because you're using it to get five gems a day. But the cost of an upkeep of a country is pretty expensive. Like, I have a tiny one and it's 150. And also, mine isn't that small. It's like, this is my country, right? That That's pretty small, but there are like much smaller ones. See? Like, someone was smart. And got a country. This big. Which looks, it literally just goes over a river in Bangladesh. That's how you should have every, a country in this game. <laughs> and then, like, like, some of it just doesn't look as if it exists. It's like, is that just a tiny dot? Look. That is how you build a country in the city's war. It's pretty so small. It is actually so small. I don't know how you build it that small. Are you messing? Okay, do you know what? Let's just end this here. This is going to be probably a very bad video, but I gotta have something out on my channel, and why not see if this works at all? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will see you all in the next video, which I'll have out in a while, and it'll probably be a proper video instead of whatever the hell this was, for a few minutes, and, uh, yeah, link to the website will be in the description, it's a in-game browser you play it on, uh, mobile, PC, all that, no app, yeah, I think that's it. Goodbye.